Hello, Chathew. Good evening. Welcome, one and all. How are you? It's Thursday? It's Thursday. It's Thursday today. It's Thursday. Not... <laughs> it's Thursday, my dude. No, it's, uh... It's Thursday is what a concept, which is still a meme that I don't know because I've still never watched that show, the name of which escapes me. Um, Russian Doll? Is that what it was? Uh... Cat says, all these two days off and you still haven't watched it, except there are no days off. We've we've officially begun another madness. So <laughs> we're on day six. There's only three hundred and fifty-nine days to go. Um <laughs> I'm surprised Meg didn't bust in here to throttle me. Um so you may notice that I'm streaming tonight. And, uh, <laughs> and there's a reason for that. And the reason for that is that Meg desires to go to bed at a reasonable hour. <laughs> there's a heavy meteor shower on Meg's Island as well, but that wasn't part of the conversation we had earlier today. Uh, the, 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 the actual reason was that Meg wanted to go to bed at a reasonable hour. And so maybe we'll have uh maybe we'll have Meg do a May Magnus stream at some point on like a Sunday. Uh when I stream during the day and uh and not at you know a late hour of the night. So that's why you're stuck with me. But I have uh I have offered you a treat. We have a one off here. Ed Roach has resub now for twelve months. Uh, saying, I was right! And you know what? I noticed you were right. You called me. You you nailed it. I saw you post in Discord earlier this morning after I had already determined what I was going to play. Uh, I had I had talked to Meg about it already, and then I saw your post in Discord being like, I bet he's going to play Portal because it's a one-off. I was like, oh, Ed Roach is on to me. So, <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. We're going to play Portal. I have beaten Portal and Portal 2 before. Um, so we are, of course, only doing Portal today. But this does imply that Portal 2 will be in the, the offing at some point in the future, probably. But this is, this is not a first visit for me, which means that it'll probably go a little bit faster than it might otherwise. Um, but... Uh, but it seemed like a fun one. It's it's one that I've been wanting to revisit for a while, and it, it's it's doable within the bounds of one stream night, and uh, and so it seemed like a fun game that we might we might want to do. So uh, yeah, that's it. What else do we have to talk about today? I took my car into the shop. Cars, it turns out, are a money pit. If you weren't aware. Um, cars are a money pit. So, despite the fact that I haven't, like, been driving anywhere at all this year, and I was only halfway to the number of miles required to get to for my next scheduled maintenance appointment, uh, my car started making this, like, strained whining noise when I was accelerating through first and second gear, like, um and like I wasn't losing power it was driving fine it was just making this whining noise it sounded sad yeah and uh so I was like I I I bit the bullet and I was like all right I'm going to take it into the shop and I took it into the shop and I was like we may as well get scheduled maintenance out of the way uh there's no reason not to get scheduled maintenance out of the way um even though I'm not at miles, like, do the fluids, do the brake check, do the, the standard maintenance stuff, why not? I'll pay for that. And uh, then I complained about the sound, and, uh, and and the guy was like, okay, well, it'll be 75 to $140 to diagnose the cost of the sound, or the cause of the sound. I'm like, okay, I guess. <sighs> so so here's here's where things get dicey. 
the last time I had my car into the shop, uh, it was because the AC stopped working. And I took it in and I was like, can you diagnose the AC and figure out, like, I think the AC just needs a, a coolant recharge, like a refrigerant recharge, but can you can you give it a look and and let me know? And it turns out, no, in fact, the AC does not need a coolant recharge. It's like the the the, the refrigerator or the heat exchanger block is like cracked or something. And so the AC just is like dead, dead, like dead, dead. And, uh, and I knew this and I was like, okay, well, I know that's going to cost a fortune to replace. So I guess I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I will just sweat. And, uh, anyhow, the, the guy from the repair shop called me up this afternoon and he's like, all right, so we got your maintenance done. Um, we also did the diagnosis. What is wrong with your car is that the, the, the AC is busted your evaporator is leaking and uh and like your your whole AC unit is toast. Uh and we would need to replace the whole thing uh in order to get it working again. And I was like, "Okay, but it's just the AC unit?" "Yes, it's just the AC unit." "Okay, and it's it's not affecting the performance of the car at all. It's just blowing warm air." And he was like, "Yes, it's not it won't affect the engine in any way. It only blows hot air." And I was like, "Okay, He's like, do you want to know how much it'll cost to replace? And I was like, it's going to be a fortune. And he said, yes, it's going to be a fortune. It is going to cost $3,900 to replace the AC unit. And I again went, I will sweat. <laughs> Don't do that repair, please. So this is what bakes my noodle. This is what bakes my noodle. I went to pick up my car. And he's like, all right, we did the service on it, and we didn't replace the AC. Uh, your bill will be 300 bucks for the the service and the diagnostic. And I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> it was payday. Um, and uh, then I get in the car, and it doesn't whine anymore. They fixed the whine. But apparently they didn't fix the whine as a component of the investigation they did into what was not working in the car. Because what they, their diagnostic into what wasn't working in the car turned up the AC was broken, but the wine is gone. So the wine was clearly something in the powertrain that they fixed with the basic maintenance today that they just never disclosed. But that makes me wonder, why were they poking around in the AC? And it, in fact, makes me a little bit annoyed that I paid for the diagnostic <laughs> when, if I had just taken it in for a basic service, they would have found and fixed the wine in the first place. Hi, Meg. Maybe they just... Oh, I have an alfalfa sprout. Like, it was like a secret thing that they just did because it took like, slightly longer than... Maybe. They just did it. It's fine. Don't ask. What is going on with my... There we go. I fixed it. No, I fixed it. It's gone. I fixed it. What? Why would you... You're a monster. Fine. <sighs> yeah. Cheaper for them to diagnose. Yes, sure. <laughs> I'm helping. You're helping. Um, all right, so that was my story of my day. But at least the car doesn't whine anymore. So that's cool. Um, today's drama. Is this really drama that Disney reported that Disney Plus reported that it only has 103 million subscribers it has 103 million subscribers is that drama oh and yes we i heard the news that eternals and shang chi may not be approved for the chinese market uh which is like okay <laughs> that's not relevant to me personally 
I have no stake in whether those movies play in China or not. Do I want to talk about who John Mulaney is dating? No, because I I don't have any uh I don't have any particular fondness for John Mulaney. That not because I'm like I'm sure he's lovely, but uh Oh that's not true. I guess I I have watched Big Mouth and and he does a voice in that. Um so that's fun. The the bigger news today is that Kat Dennings is now engaged to Andrew WK. <laughs> That feels like the big news. <laughs> John Mulaney divorced his wife a couple days ago and is now dating Olivia Munn. Yeah, I heard about I heard about the divorce. Uh Lloyd Man says, I don't know who either of those people are. Kat Dennings. Uh Kat Dennings was a uh, Darcy in Thor the Dark World, well, in all of the Thor movies, and also, well, I guess in the first two Thor movies, and also WandaVision. And uh, Andrew W.K. is the, like, the the party rocker guy, I guess? I don't know. I don't know anything about Andrew W.K. I think there's a poster of him with his nose bleeding all over his shirt. Um... I hear he likes to party. Anyhow, they're engaged. They're engaged. <laughs> Andrew WK did a lot of stuff at E3 one year. Good for him. Uh, Meg asks, wait, did John Mulaney and his wife do the paperwork a few days ago or broke up a few days ago? I, I am given to understand that that John Mulaney's wife served him papers a few days ago. <laughs> and now he's dating Olivia Munn. <laughs> so there, there is some suggest, or there is some implication in that that he may have, he may have been dating Olivia Munn prior to their announcement like 15 minutes after the papers were served. <laughs> I'm 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 inferring this into the situation. I have no insider knowledge here, but I'm guessing. <laughs> I I don't know. I I cannot recall from the articles I read direct like uh, like sp specifically. I I suspect they were probably separated. So, I mean, I'm not going to imply that anybody's doing anything untoward, but uh, but it does sound a little bit spicy. Uh, question for you, Meg. Is the AC on? Okay. That's fine. I was cold all day anyhow, but uh, have you turned it back on? Yes, you have, because I can hear it now. Thank you. Sorry. All right. So now we're getting into more celebrity gossip. Did you know that Vincent Donfrio's daughter, Sam Walk says, is married to Sean Bean, but then moments from now will correct himself to say Sean Penn. Sorry, not Sean Bean. Sean Penn. I did not know, know that. Uh, is, is Sean Penn 14 months younger than Vincent Donfrio? Yes. All right. That's cool and good. <laughs> as long as they're all consenting adults, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rain too heavily on that, that parade. But Sean Penn is a whole situation. It's true. <clears throat> I mean, I don't care that much, to the extent that Vincent D'Onofrio is a consenting party to this particular. Uh, this particular relationship, he doesn't really matter in this in this situation. But as long as the two involved are uh, are consenting adults, well, why not? Um, 
Okie doke. I, I have just realized I need to do one thing here. How do I turn off uh, Oh god. I wish I had any idea how Does anybody know how to turn off Xbox Game Bar? How to turn off Xbox Game Bar. Right click the start button. Go to settings. Settings. Go to gaming. Turn off Xbox Game Bar. Okay, there we go. I ask this question only because as I was sitting here, I got, like, a spam friend request. So, for, for the purpose of, uh, of ensuring that there are no overlays while I'm playing this game, let's turn Xbox Game Bar off. Okay, I guess, I guess that's all the, the waffling I have to do this evening, so we should get, we should make with the gaming. Um, so let's do our traditions. My glasses are fine today, uh, but I am going to phone, cable, and, uh, I invite you all to brace your ear holes. There were pops today. We had pops. And uh, I saw the poll went to beer. Let's find out what is the beverage of the day. It doesn't want to open. There we go. Today's beverage of the day is... You'll never know. What could it be? <laughs> what could it be? Um, uh, so, so I was complaining yesterday about the fact that their promotional image uh, showed it just keying out and showing the guy behind him. Uh, it turns out they actually include instructions on the can for how to do that. Uh, and it's as simple as you would think. It's like the basic solution. But this is the R&B Brewing's Green Screen IPA. Uh, the sales pitch for which is an unprecedented beer for an unprecedented time. And their their promo blog for it was like, everybody's run ragged and you should enjoy a beer on your own terms, even during work meetings. And so we have given you a chroma green beer so that you can you can render your beer invisible. Um, the uh, the instructions on the back here say directions. Open your video meeting software in full screen. Place yourself as if you were in a meeting. Screen cap your full image. Open preferences and choose virtual background. This is for Zoom, I guess, but uh, but still. Uh, use green. Uh, use the screen cap as your virtual background and check I have a green screen. Hold up this beer with the blank side facing the camera. To improve the effect, manually pick the color for the green screen from this label. And there you go. So, uh... So that's how it's done, apparently. But anyhow, let's see how it tastes. I, I'm typically, full disclosure, I'm typically not a huge fan of R&B Brewing's beer, so we'll see. This is a beer that exists. 
it's actually quite nice. I like I I have I have no strong of feelings about this beer one way or the other. Um it is much less bitter than you would expect. Much less bitter and much more malty than you would expect from an IPA. Um but it does have like a bitter finish. But it's very mellow. It's like very mellow. <laughs> there we go. Meg called it staff meeting beer. <sighs> All right. So we have a game to play and we have only so many hours in which to play. So I think it's time to get started. What's the percentage on this work beer? 5.4%. No, 5.7%. Five point seven percent. All right, let's do this. Hey, look. I'm concerned that there's no audio here. Okay, there is audio. There's just no music. New game. Start new game. What happens if I just let this clock run down? Oh, I Hello have to let the clock run down. Again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. We oh, I need to turn however, subtitles on. Keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious in Options. Audio. Uh. Do we want full full captioning? Uh, <laughs> those of you asking, oh, this game looks better than I expected. Uh, I am running it at uh, 2560 by 1440, and every setting is maxed out. And I'm getting... Uh, when I have VSync on, so as to avoid screen tearing, but when I have VSync off, I average something like 290 frames per second. Uh <laughs> Jerry's may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Wow. Those, those, those are very small. Do we have the ability to make? The subtitles big. Hmm. Let's Google it. Uh, but to do that, I'm going to go off this screen for a moment uh, because that's my desktop background that it will reveal. Uh, how? I should have Googled this yesterday, but I wasn't thinking of it. To make captions bigger, portal. How to increase the text size in the subtitle? All right, all Source Engine games have a file, uh, resource client scheme dot res that stores font settings. Hmm. Oh, but Portal apparently doesn't use that file. All right, we're gonna have to just deal with the tiny. Uh, we're going to just have to deal with the tiny font. I apologize. Yeah, no UI scaling, sadly. Hup. 
Oh, right, I didn't go back to game view. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety, and I'm the here for fun and entertainment. Please or sorry, fun and education. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Boop. Hey, look, it's me. Up, 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 up. Wee. I can keep the radio. Hello, Seraphina. How are you? Welcome, Raiders. Oh, I like there's an Aperture Science uh, logo in the bottom. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, okay. note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized Aperture science material that emancipation fluid. grid. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. No radio. I barely knew ye. Goodbye, radio friend. The radio is my only friend. <laughs> Samba not permitted past this point. Quite right. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Okay. What makes it super colliding exactly? Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Well, sorry, but you locked me out. <laughs> yeah, rip speed run. Those 15 seconds are going to cost me. Loading? I have an SSD. What could you possibly be loading that takes that long? You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Uh... <laughs> Game loads for half a second, Matt. How dare you? I have this thing installed to a, an NVMe SSD. It should be fast. Hello, portal gun. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... <laughs> Uh oh.
Yes! Accomplished. Hello, Shockwave773. Welcome. Grab the camera and emancipate it. There will be more cameras where that came from. I will emancipate all the cameras from their positions on the wall. Except that one, apparently. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Uh, what the? Oh, I'm stupid. There we go. Uh, boop. Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Hello? Ele there we go. Thank you, elevator. So is there anyone in chat who's never seen this game before? Like, who's never played through this? I, I imagine it is impossible for anyone to have not, like, just absorbed the memes via osmosis at this point. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Once again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Oh, I'll be all on my own for the next one. Well then. <laughs> Romagoro says, anyone who hasn't at least absorbed the memes is too young to be watching this stream. I mean, I don't know. Technically, this is an all-ages stream. Technically. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Did the vital testing apparatus eventually fall off the wall? It did, okay. Boop. Where's the... Why am I like this? I suspect I have not emancipated all of the cubes yet. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. You're not the boss of me. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Oh! Is that so? Wait, oh! Interesting. I suppose I... this is gonna be fun. Uh... Vital be gone, testing camera. apparatus destroyed. I wonder if there's a Chivo for taking every camera off the wall. It's enhancing the truth. I think I missed the first camera, though, so I'm probably out of luck on that particular front. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, 
The aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the jet. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. <laughs> Subject hometown here. Oh, I don't see a camera in this room. Well then. Did the second game come out in 2012? Oh, 2011. Wow. Valve really can't count to three, can they? Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Oops. Let's actually line that up correctly, I guess. Good. Now use the aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Oh god, why? Oh! Alright. That that worked out. That worked out surprisingly well. Oh, that worked out surprisingly unwell. Good. Now use the aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. I guess I have to jump. I like their portal proof windows. Whee. Are we recording deaths in this? Nah, I, I didn't set up a counter for tonight. Consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. <laughs> All right, thanks, Glados. I appreciate the heads up. That's good to know. Where is my orange thing? Are at? Oh, I get it. Okay. Please fire another orb. Now we wait for the the unstationary platform to come back. Look at that gross, toxic mess. Where did they get all that slime from? And why? Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Previous test subjects is a good answer. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. impossible. Make no attempt to solve it.
The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Sure did. I like that the portal gun twitches every time you go through one of those uh, disassembly fields. Horus5 has now subscribed for one whole year. Thank you very much, Horus5, saying, One year? It's like I've been locked in time for this whole sub. Hello again. To reiterate, previous morning, you have Momentum. Where is my one? There it is. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. <laughs> All right, what is our... Where's the orange portal? Okay, orange portal is there. Whee! Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. <laughs> Kinogami says, did I miss speedy thing go in, speedy thing go out? No, you did not, as evidenced by that line that we just heard. Onward to the next test chamber. Perhaps one day, perhaps one day, they will give me an orange portal. <laughs> Blue misses the Samba. I also miss the Samba. Maybe we'll get another one. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. Dang, I'm almost done. Testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Thank you. I will. Uh... Ooh, hello. The Enrichment Rip. Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Okay, that's a, a platform. Press the button. Okay, now I gotta just wait. Here we go. Or not. Oh! Huh. All right, I think I fundamentally understand what I was doing wrong here. More or less, at least. I 
I have no concept of whether that went through or not. It did. Okay. There we go. Bink. Nope. Sure, that seems sufficiently safe. Holy! That was a little... <laughs> a little bit dicey. Orange gun. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone down here. More valuable than the organs and combined incomes of hay. That's a perfectly normal thing to say. All right, so now, the real question of the day, how do I get to the exit? <laughs> Meg says, May Madness was a stupid joke I came up with. The I am an idiot. Uh, a stupid joke I came up with the other night and now it's a thing. Whoops, yeah, sorry, Meg, you gave me permission to do another 365 day. Streaming marathon. Oh. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You told me that May Madness was a thing. Huh. That's a very quick turnaround. Oh, I made it. <laughs> oh, I'm very stupid. I didn't have to rush that at all. I just needed to, I just needed to get the portal through the <laughs> through the shutter. I didn't need to also get through the shutter. I understand how video games work. Well, <laughs> That's fine. It's not stupid if it works. Hey, lucky number 12. Get to the deep fling yourself. Fling, fling into space. Fling myself into space. Consider me flung. Where's the hole? Boop. Okay, where's the hole? Whoops. <laughs> That's no good. I guess I didn't really need to do that, did I? Whatever, it's fine. Whee! Hi there! Uh, weighted cube? 
what if I put you on this button? Indeed, GLaDOS, we indeed. <laughs> Pyro Dragon calling me out in chat saying it wouldn't be a mat stream if I didn't do things in a pointlessly difficult way. It's true. But you know, now that you are in control of both portals. This I know my brand. Could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic cell and adrenaline. An intubation associate. Okay, where am I actually headed? Where's the exit? Exit's up there. Okay, so let's get the lay of the land here. We have a portal on that, or sorry, we have a, a weighted cube over there. We have an orb. The orb needs to go there. Bink. Bink. Orb has done what I expected it to do. However, we still have not solved the problem of getting to the cube. Until now. Now I have solved the problem of getting to the cube. I need to solve the problem putting the cube where I want it to be. Why is there only one cube? Vital testing apparatus destroyed. myself too much momentum. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. I don't believe you! Fourteen of nineteen. We're almost there! Game's almost over. Jeez. I expected this to take much longer than All subjects than intending to handle high-energy gamma-leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. Okay, so we have an orb receptacle. But no apparent place for the orbs to 
be coming from. We have a cube, but no apparent way to get up to where the cube is. the cube and now we have a flight of stairs look at that how convenient uh, okay so we are here and we are here I would platform. Ah, that's why I would platform. I figured it out. Oh! Those energy orbs are fatal! I would call that a learning experience. I would call that a learning experience that I didn't take to heart. <laughs> Maybe this time I've learned something. I guess we'll see. Hey, Meg. It smells powerfully like charcoal smoke in here, right? I gathered nothing was on fire. <laughs> Have you already reported them to Strata? Oh, how 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 restrained of you. Very, very good. A complimentary victory lift has been activated in the main chamber. I'm I'm I I I'm just surprised that you haven't already. <laughs> This is like twice in three times in a week. Three, t three times in a week, they've smoked our apartment out. Uh, so I'm getting a little. It's a bit much, but particularly since, like, we're already being forgiving on the the grounds that they're not supposed to have a charcoal barbecue to begin with. The enrichment but, uh, center is committed anyhow. to the well-being of all participants. Cake and grief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Cake and Thank grief you counseling? Us help you help Heck us yeah! Work. Heck me up on that grief counseling. The grief counseling was a lie. Um, I think it was Diabore asked, oh yeah, I forgot to ask, are you planning to get a black PS5 controller? I made an attempt to pre-order one today, but sadly, they are not available to pre-order in Canada yet. What? Well, that's just rude.
Okay. Now we need to think with portals. Think with portals. Okay. Portals thought with. Wait, there's another test in this test. How dare. How dare! Okay, let's understand the the puzzle here. Whoops. Okay, so blue is up there. Okay, so, what do we got? Where does this take me? Nowhere, okay. So, how does one solve this problem? We solve this problem by... Get out of here. Like that. No, my platform is gone. Disaster has struck! I do that. Uh, blue goes here. Orange goes here. Now I gotta keep my portal straight. Blue goes here. Orange goes here. Blue is there. That's a terrible idea. Why would I do that? Blue goes here. Orange goes here. Orange goes there. Sure, orange goes there. Orange can go there. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Now I just need to not get greedy. Hey, look! A blue portal. Victory. Uh, now what? Hello, Hell Corridor. 
Um, so we have an orb bouncing. Keep bouncing. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. So long, camera. That's the exit over there. There must be a button somewhere. There is, the button opens here. Wait, hold on. Oh, there are two buttons. get it. Okay. Oh, damn it! Oh, no. There's an orb over there. Alright. Please spawn a new orb. Thank you. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. I have made a tactical error. Go. Woo! So, I have played both Portal games before, but it's been many years since I've played either one. And, uh... I don't think I've played Portal since before Portal 2 came out. I only ever played Portal 2 once. So... I, I am basically having to, like, I'm familiar with all the mechanics of the game, but I, I, and how puzzle solutions work, but it's been long enough that I'm still having to engineer the solutions. Due to mandatory scheduled maintenance, the appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been replaced with a live fire course designed for military androids. The enrichment Who's center idea was this? apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck. Uh huh. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Oh God. Searching. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Nerd. Okay, so here we are in a little back room. The cake is a lie. The cake is a lie. The cake is a lie. The Whoops. The cake is a lie. The cake is a lie. You may have heard that meme. Hello, can I help you? A trusted friend in science. Tasty cake. Yeah, this all seems fine, right? 
help. Hmm. Oh, where did you see Ratman? Anyhow, I'm, I'm sure things are fine, right? Oh, hello, Electrodyne. Uh, no, there was not an April, an April Atnes. Hmm. Hmm. Problem solved. Why would I do the? Oh Leroy, my God! Are you still there, my painting? No. Good night. Sentry mode activated. Is anyone there? Success! Uh, all right. Let's find our radio. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Radio, oh no! Stuck in a room. This, I think, is not where I want to be. Oh, hello. Stay back here. Well done, Android. The Enrichment Center once again reminds you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. Um. <laughs> Android Hell is a real place. Uh, hi there, camera. Oh, I can't break you because you're stuck to an unbreakable wall. It's one of the special hells. The vital that makes apparatus sense. Event will deliver a weighted companion cube in three, oh. two, one. A companion cube? This weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. Okay, so. That floor is portal immune. <laughs> this thing became a huge meme. I have a wait, I have a plush companion cube. I own one.
let's orient the command companion to correctly. There we go. This my shield most companion produced cube. by enrichment center testing our superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. It'll never give me up. It'll never let me down. It let me down. The one thing I was told it would never do, and it did it. Alright, listen here. That's one. Now that I'm in here, I can solve a puzzle. <laughs> that did it. So now that panel is going up. It's down for a moment. Wait. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. <laughs> the char marks in the side of the companion cube. Hmm. Okay, well, let's have a look back here. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that's fine. This is all fine. This is all fine. Milk. Tasty cake. <sighs> okay, so... You're not firing orbs. So where exactly are orbs firing? Oh yeah, here. Will this work? Let's find out. Thank you. 
the enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube cannot speak. In the event that the weighted companion cube does speak, the enrichment center urges you to disregard its advice. Okay, so now the question is how? Like this. Hello, Erica. Hello, Raiders. Welcome. You've joined us uh, partway through our portal playthrough. Um, and now I just need to figure out what the heck I need to do. So this is blue. And blue is going to my destination. So I need to drop an orange in the correct place. The correct place is there. Then I need to not get hit by an orb. Watch for an orb. You're right, I did in fact use that orb already, and so I guess it's not launching another one. I didn't realize it would shut off my orb supply. I've been cut off. Look at me walking back like some sort of plebe. All right, this time for sure. Hooray. Hop. 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 No. You're right, I forgot the cube. You can't leave the cube cube behind. <laughs> that would be terrible. Can I even get at the cube? I can, all right, great. Hello, companion cube. Hello, friend. Hop. 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 Cube, you abandoned me! How could Cube do this to me? You did it. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test and unfortunately must be euthanized. Please I your refuse. Cube to the Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator. I will not. You can't make me. Rest assured that an independent panel of ethicists has absolved the Enrichment Center, Aperture Science employees, and all test subjects of any moral responsibility for the Companion Cube euthanizing process. <laughs> that voice line made me miss the timer. Yeah, it's, it's time to give this cube the old yeller treatment. While it has been a faithful companion, so long, Cube. You euthanized your faithful companion, Cube, more quickly than any test subject on record. 
Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, I am a monster. And I'm going to take a momentary break. So don't go away. I'll be right back. I'm just going to run to the washroom and we will continue. So hang tight. I'm giving you this moment to grieve. Hello again. Let's continue. More loading. How dare. All right, what test are we on now? Is this 17, 18, 18? The nearing its conclusion. The Enrichment Center is required to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. Um. Oh yeah? Is that so? The experiment is nearing its conclusion. The Enrichment Center is required to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. <laughs> I really did thread that needle, didn't I? Okay, well, hold up. What's in here? First things first. This orchestration of this song is amazing. It's so good. The experiment is nearing its conclusion. The Enrichment Center is required to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. So, how do I get from here to there? Just like that. That's... A remarkable number. Oh god, why?
What if we didn't do a murder? Okay, where's the port for it? Oh, right there. Okay, so what are my options here? We need to get the ball from there to there. Anticipated that. No, the game crashed. Oh, it didn't crash. Okay, we're still fine. Platform's already moving. I don't need to worry about this. Come on back. That's a good vwom 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 sound it makes. I approve. Okay, so now I need to get tricky. But I need to figure out how to get tricky. It's 
time for a slingshot. Insufficient. Ah. I think I figured this out. Got there. Now, what platform am I placing this on? I have the cube. Where does the cube go? Where does cube belong? Cube looks like it belongs in there. Oh. figured it out. Just gotta, you know, walk through the door. It's right there. Ah, alright. And we can... Oh god. Everything's fine! Oh god, Jesus, why? Whee! <laughs> Where did I end up? Where did I end up? Thank you. 
a much better idea. Okay, so. Where does one need to fling? Boop. Whoops. Well, I almost had it. Alright, so that one's orange. Blue! Blue! Orange! Blue! Orange! Well done. Ho 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 that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated I made it. parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an Enrichment Center Electrical Safety Seminar. Try doing that with the radio in hand. Well, nineteen of nineteen. When you are done, you will drop the device in the equipment recovery annex. Enrichment center regulations require both hands to be empty before any cake. Yeah, we're getting cake. Looking forward to my cake. That's what it did, okay. Hop. Hop. Oh, Jesus. Hop! Ah. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Floating platform. I'd like to move on now. There we go. New floating platform. Horrors await me on the other side of this. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh! <laughs> Congratulations. The test is now over. All aperture technologies remain safely operational up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. 
Best assured that there is absolutely no chance of a dangerous equipment malfunction prior to your victory incandescence. Thank you for participating in this amateur science computer aided enrichment activity. Goodbye. For victory candescence. Oh no. Well, I have achieved my victory candescence. Whoops! I have achieved my victory candescence again! Yeah, game over. We've successfully completed Portal at this point. Right. We are through the fire and flames. <laughs> Assume the party escort submission position, otherwise known as bracing your ear holes. How dare! Now, is this door ajar? That door is ajar. It's not ajar, it's a door! Am I stupid? I'm a little bit stupid. Not a lot stupid, but just a little stupid. Uh, once again, making things much harder than they needed to be. it over here. Where do I need to make it to next? That's probably a locked door. Yeah. That's an open door, though. How stupid is this? If I just run and jump. Oh, not stupid at all. All right, great. That's what I was hoping for. Dollars and cents completing with competing with Black Mesa for DOD and government-wide acquisition contracts. Test chambers were able to peer in on. Okay, I have 
made it to here. Up. Want uppies, apparently. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so. The cake remains to be a lie, apparently. Whee! Hopefully this isn't dangerous. Uh-oh. Double uh-oh. you won. The test is over. Come back. Okay, so where do I need to get to? Hey, giant crushy pistons. That's reassuring as all get out. Remarkably few solutions here. Um, crushy pistons. Oh, hello. Crushy pistons here to allow me to get up there, maybe. Crushed. See blue. Orange there. Whee! All right, and we're through. Now, reorient. I'm through to where exactly? Is this even where I want to be? Who knows? Getting through here achieved for me. Okay, that's not quite working. Another load screen? Okay, so I have a locked door and a bunch of piston platforms. Uh-oh, this one's going to smash me into the roof. Let's not get smashed into the roof. So 
what happens if I... Okay, those all fell off. So this got me all the way to the top. But I'm not sure I actually want to be all the way at the top yet. So what's in here? Let's let's take this one section at a time. More Ratman stuff. More admonitions that the cake is a lie. And nothing. So this doesn't get me anywhere. So actually it looks increasingly like being at the top is exactly where I wanted to be. taken me. We have some fun, smashy smashy. As far as here, how do I make it further from here? Like that, that's how. Whee! Everything's fine. That's, that's fine. No problem. Ah! like this probably Just isn't OSHA compliant. Over here. Up over here, it says. From here to Quince I meant to go. What has going up this way gotten me? Alright, made it! Everything's fine! But did I? Did I make it? Have I, in fact, quote-unquote, made it? Progress. You should have turned left before. It's funny, actually, when you think about it. Someday we'll remember this and laugh. Okay, and so laugh. now I need to figure out how to get on top of that thing. Well, you may as well come on back. Whoops.
That feels like it's too far to jump. Alright, so it was not too far to jump, but it was too far to successfully complete. So, second verse, same as the first. You should have left before. It's funny, but this time, paying attention to what I can see through the portal. There we go. wants me to go down this time. So I will leave it. Down! So we have a hallway and a duct. Help! The duct says. That way. You're not a good person. You know that, right? Good people don't end up here. Can um, you hear me? So, now what? Let's get murdered by a turret. Nobody. Searching. Okay. That was not a murder turret. That's reassuring. We need to get up there now. How does one get up there? Like that, maybe? Oh, no. Okay. Jump. Oh, I can. Look at that. Hell yeah. Into the vent we go. I don't blame you. All right. So now we have to do some flippy stuff. there just because I'll probably need it. What have we got in here? More graffiti. And a platform I can't use. Okay, so. Wait, hold on. Okay, 
that was relatively easy. Or relatively less hard than I expected it, it to be. It have to be like this. I'm not kidding now. Turn back or I will kill you. What does that say? I'm going to kill you. And all the cake is gone. You don't even care, do you? This is your last No, chance. not the cake. Uh, hi there! That's not good. Don't like that. Whoops. Didn't quite get it to murder itself. Whoops! <laughs> but I sure did get it to murder me! This is your fault. It didn't have to be like this. I'm not kidding now. Turn back or I will kill you. I'm going to kill you. And all the cake is gone. You don't even care, do you? This is your last chance. What? Okay, I have made it to this room. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Orange portal, okay. How do I get in there? How do I get in there? Can I like steal a chair? Oh. <laughs>
What did that accomplish, if anything? Aha! Come with me, cube. You're with me to the end of the line. Or you're stuck. That's possible, too. Alrighty. I got a cube. And I got a mission. cube. Alright, it wants me to go up. Want uppies, apparently. Alright, let's have a look around at this arena. We got, got sludge water. my companion cube go. So, I surely did get myself murdered there. Oh God! He can see me. Okay, so. Oh, there's still one more. <laughs> All right, now, where do I need to get to? What is the way to climb the room? Bonk. We need to get up there. Oh, 
Oops. I see what I was doing wrong. Whoops. So we need an orange portal. If I can do it right. Yeah, there we go. Took me a minute to get a head, my head around which portals I needed to use when. <laughs> well, that worked. But now I need to figure out where I'm going. And ideally not fall into the pit. So... Be gone, please. So where do I need to get to next? There's nothing back there. Oh. Boop. Figured it out. <laughs> Hop. Whee! And I'm all the way up here. Hello, door. Well, this looks perfectly safe. This doesn't look like the kind of place that would be dangerous to me at all. This looks like a, the back corridor of some sort of office facility. That is not at all ominous. Alchemical Panda said in uh, in the previous room, this is where I stopped. Bear that in mind. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five. Hey, look four. at all the different cakes. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind. It's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? I wouldn't bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make her life even worse somehow. Well, you might be right. I don't want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. Do you think I'm trying to trick you with reverse psychology? I mean, seriously now. Okay, fine. Don't Whoops. touch it. Dang Take it. it up and just stuff it back into me. Let's be honest. Neither one of us knows what that thing does. Just put it in the corner, and I'll deal with it later. Boop. That. You're kidding me. Did you just set that aperture science thing we don't know what it does into an aperture science emergency intelligence incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So comfortable <laughs> while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Oh, that core wave has some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me, it'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Just lie All down right. in front of a rocket. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Telling you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. The rocket really is the way to go. That thing you learned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking of Hey, buddy! It may shoot for orphans. Nice job breaking it, hero. No! Why? This isn't grave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? The difference between... The difference between... You don't even care, do you? Uh, hello, Core. Who are you? What is that? What the hell? How do I grab that? There was even going to be a party for you. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend and companion cube. Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends because of how I Yes. These poor orbs. But, alas. Shaped solid weight, hey, or waste, hey. Pissed off.
Well, this is awkward. Oh, I'm getting sucked into the sky. Oh, those are cockroaches! Why are those bugs? Why are those bugs? Thank you for assuming the party at Kurt's submission position. is so silky smooth at 144 FPS. <laughs> you only get to see it in 60 FPS. Sorry, 59.94. Hey, look, a cake! Yeah, the companion cube's here, too. And you know what time it is. <laughs> Thank you for the this cheer, Lurker Spine. I'm making a note here. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science... We do what we must, because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. But there's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. Then the science gets done, and you make a neat plan for the people who are still alive. You've never heard the final credits because you didn't get this far. <laughs> It is the same tune, though. I prefer to stay inside. Maybe you'll find someone else to help you. Maybe Black Mesa. That was a joke.
<laughs> oh, that song is great. That song is fun. I haven't listened to that in ages. Um, so yeah, that's all I had planned for the evening. I, I guess I could look and see what's up. Oh God. Well, there's my desktop. Oh no, I already switched off. Ha <laughs> ha I was thinking. Um, pause. Uh, eh. <laughs> there we go. Now there, there we go. Our background music. So, yeah, I, I didn't actually have anything else planned for this evening. So, in the interest of the fact that I am doing multiple bonus streams this week, I think I'm going to call it there. But I am going to fire up a raid. So, everybody should hop on board the raid. So, don't go anywhere. We're going to raid. Um, and I'd love it if you joined the raid train. But first, we got to go through our regular stuff. So, first things first. I will be back tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Same mat time, same mat channel. Here on twitch.tv slash wiggins. And we will be beginning our adventure to save the galaxy. Tomorrow, we begin Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I have been talking about playing this game for well over a year. I've been I have been talking about doing a Mass Effect World Tour uh, since before the Mass Effect Legendary Edition was announced. Um, for like a year before they announced it, you may recall if you've been here long enough that I have said things like, if they ever release a remaster, I'm going to do a full stream of the entire Mass Effect franchise. And so, tomorrow that begins. For real, real. So, yeah. You should come join me. And Matt won't shut up about Mass Effect Wiggins. It's exactly right. And do I, if you're going to make them, if you're going to make a nickname, you should add it to the database. So, anyhow... Tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, we embark on a mission to save the galaxy, and I do hope you will uh, <laughs> you will join me for that. Um, in the meantime, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you to everybody who subscribes, everybody who follows, everybody who cheers, everybody who chats, and everybody who hangs out and lurks. It's a genuine thrill to stream for you each and every day, and I hope you have as much fun watching as I do playing. Um... Yeah, I have a Twitter. That's twitter.com slash Matt underscore LRR. You can, uh, you can post. You can see the tweets that I post if you go there. I have a VOD channel on YouTube, which you can get to by following the link that I have posted in chat. Uh, that's where the VODs go, and you can catch them a few days after they are live here on Twitch. Uh, additionally, I have a Discord. You can join the Wiggins Community Discord by making sure your Twitch account, your Discord account, are linked in Discord's back end. And so long as you are a subscriber here, my server will appear to you as if by magic among your linked servers in Discord's back end. And then, of course, I have an Instagram and a letterbox that I occasionally update that you may find interesting. So uh, those things all happen. Thank you again for joining me on this adventure, because uh, Portal was a ton of fun. And uh, let us fire up our raid for the evening. So everybody hop aboard this raid train. Jordan, we're going to go raid Jordan. And Jordan is playing Dota 2, which is a game that he, uh, he played with me the other day. Dota 2 is a lot of fun. So anyhow, Jordan is a much better Dota player than I am. And uh, you may get, you may actually garner some enjoyment from watching him play. So uh, everybody hop aboard this raid train, and I will see you back here tomorrow for Mass Effect. I can't wait. I'm so excited, and I hope you're as excited as I am. That's it for tonight. Thank you again, everybody, and so long. <laughs>